How's it guys? Mr. Fluffy Bass here. Today, guys, another movie review. And today, guys, I'm going to be reviewing Kill Bill Volume 1, which is a, uh, I guess, all time, I guess it's the closest thing to a modern day classic, but it's, you know, directed by Quentin Tarantino. And also, I should mention this is my first time watching it because I've never watched it, but, you know, I've always heard stuff about it. And, uh, you know, it's always like, you know, one of the, you got, you know, you got to watch, you know, Kill Bill movies or blah, blah, blah. But, um, like I said, they're directed by Quentin Tarantino. And, they're like, uh, I guess uh, I've heard them described as the masterful, uh, like revenge type, um, uh, you know, movies or whatnot, like revenge action movies or whatnot. Um, because you know, the first two Kill Bills, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure that I'm pretty sure they were filmed back to back, but, uh, you know, they, they can like continue the story. I mean, the first one, the, uh, you know, Kill Bill Volume 1 was released in 2003, and then Volume 2 in 2004, but uh, me and my friend, we just decided to watch it on HBO Max, and then we watched uh, Volume 2 the next night, so look out for that, uh, you know, video or whatnot, but pretty much, uh, uh, oh yeah, it was called, like, the, uh, revenge epic of, you know, all time or whatnot, but, uh, or I heard somebody call it that, but, uh, pretty much Kill Bill movies are, like, very, um, stylized action movies, I guess, per se, uh, which, you know, is really cool, because, you know, this is, uh, definitely some of the most unique, like, uh, directing I've seen, and, you know, the only other Quentin Tarantino movie I've seen before this was, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which that movie is just fantastic, but, um, this, you know, these two movies, uh, are just so stylized and they're they're really cool um or whatnot but uh, you know, stylistic and editing wise, and, um, I also love, uh, you know, every time she sees, uh, Niskatine's in the second one, but every time she sees, like, uh, one of her, uh, old enemies or whatnot, uh, it, like, plays that, uh, that one, like, song, which, uh, when I, f I first watched it, I was like, that's so cliche, but then I thought about it, I was like, you know, this movie is probably the one that, you know, really, um, you know, did that, I forgot what the song is called, but, like, if you'll hear it, you recognize it or whatnot, and then we get, kind of get, like, flashbacks and stuff, but, uh, you know, uh, first of all, that opening scene with, um, you know, where, uh, you know, you see the bride or whatnot, and, like, you know, she's, like, Bill, the kid's yours, and she just gets shot right in the head, like, what a way to open a movie, and then, you know, you got the whole thing of her killing, um, um, what's her name, uh, uh, not Copperhead, that's, uh, what's her face, uh, well, I guess it is Copperhead. Uh, you know, she goes to kill Copperhead, and then she, in front of her daughter, she's like, hey, daughter, or, you know, little kid, if you ever want to come and kill me one day, I'll be waiting, and blah, 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 because, you know, she just killed her mother, which, uh, the world building here is also great. You know how the bride what used to be in the Deadly Viper Assassin Squad or whatnot, um, which I think is uh, pretty cool. You know, it's kind of like, uh, I guess it was all women, but, you know, they it was run by Bill, which, you know, the title of the movie, but... We don't get to see him at, in any of the, you know, uh, first one. But uh, also, I think it's interesting that they actually bleep out, like, the bride's actual name in the first one and then part of the second one. But then they just kind of, like, name drop in the second one. But I'll get more on that in my review of the second part. But... Um, but pretty much after, uh, you know, we, we see like two, uh, you know, like after the, the massacre at the church or whatever it's called, which was very bloody, uh, or whatnot, you know, the bride's found out to still be alive and, uh, you know, she's taken to a hospital and is in a coma for four years. Um, you know, one of the other, uh, uh, assassin, Viper assassin squad people, uh, Ellie, you know, she only has one eye, which I did love that scene of her walking to the hospital or not. She tries to kill the bride, but Bill's like, nah, we'll make her suffer if she ever wakes up. So she better not wake up or blah, 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 blah. But, uh, you know, pretty much she's in this hospital for, like, four years or whatnot. And really disgusting scene, though. But, like, um, one of the nurses, nurse there, like, brings in people, like, if he pays. And they get to, you know, have sex with, like, the comatose people. And that's just really disgusting. Like, even when he pulls up uh, to the bride, he's like, yeah, this one's a spitter. So, I would watch out for that. But that's just, you know, really, uh, you know, or whatnot. But, you know, luckily the bride, you know, kills them both. And especially the guy, that the nurse that actually works at the hospital. She literally slams his head in the door or whatnot, which is just... Ugh, but, and you know, the bride's a badass, but, um, you know, and her legs are still asleep or whatnot, but then, you know, we see her get the pussy wagon or, <laughs> which is just funny, and, you know, she finally gets her toes to move or whatnot, but, um, and, you know, the whole, I guess, like, the climax of the first one is, you know, she's trying to kill, uh, Oren or whatnot, which, uh, we see this really cool animated, um, like, uh, I guess the, or like, uh, origin story for, uh, o Orishi Oren, I think her name is, uh, Oren Ishii, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, um, you know, that's Cottonmouth or whatnot, but, uh, she's another part of it, which she's like a master, uh, I think she's like Chinese and American or something like that, but, you know, she's like in Jap Japan or whatnot, but 
And also, the animation style really reminds me of Gorilla's music video. I don't know if I'm the only one or whatnot, but it's very brutal and stuff. And also, I love in this movie, like, later on, and in the uh, animation, too, there people get sliced up. They just start, like, gushing, like, an ungodly amount of blood. Like, especially in, uh, you know, when the bride's fighting the crazy 88. Like, she cuts off limbs, and, like, they just start, like, literally squirting, like, a fountain. And it's just so cool. But it also just goes to, uh, you're like, okay, uh, you're like, you just have this it made you like okay but like but then you just kind of think to the rest of the movie and it just kind of fits with the rest of the movie which i do appreciate or whatnot but um also my, one of my favorite parts of the movies when you know she goes uh to okinawa to the um uh let's see uh you know uh hatura hanzo the uh guy that makes the you know best samurai swords ever or whatnot which he's retired and he vowed to never make you know these killing machines again but uh he makes one for the bride uh his final one to, for the bride so he he can go kill or she can go kill bill which was a previous uh student of his or whatnot which i, I just love you know the legendary status of a hanzo sword or whatnot uh even throughout the second one too but you know if you have a hanzo sword it can like cut through pretty much anything but but but, uh, you know, at the, uh, I guess, like, the climax of the movie, you know, the, uh, bride goes to, uh, uh, uh Tokyo, and, uh, where, you know, the, uh, O-Ren and, uh, her Crazy 88, you know, body squadron and, like, uh, all her members or whatnot are, uh, at this, like, hotel, and I'll, or not hotel, but kind of, like, bar area, but, um, I also love, uh, you know, they keep calling that one guy Charlie Brown, and now they're like, yes, we must please him or else we're gonna die, which is kind of funny, but, um, you know, she, like, this, you know, this battle, like, sword fight with the crazy 80 literally, like, lasts, I want to say, like, a good 20 minutes, and it's just so cool seeing people slashed up, start gushing blood everywhere, limbs getting cut off here and there, and, uh, you know, the, the them keep falling into the pool and everything, like, it's really cool, and, like, really, uh, and, you know, also her wearing, like, the, um, you know, the black or the yellow clothes with, like, the black stripes is just iconic, but I think it's also a reference to, uh, Bruce Lee and, like, Enter the Dragon, I want to say it is, or something like that, but, um, you know, that single handling became iconic, you know, uh, because even I knew that, you know, that, hey, that's the outfit from Kill Bill or whatnot, which instantly iconic, and if you're able to do that for a movie, which, you know, this definitely is a modern-day classic, but, um, you know, she goes through pretty much all of her, uh, bodyguard or whatnot, but, uh, I also love how that one girl just fights her with a mace, which I think is kind of funny, but, and then also the one young, uh, Yakuza member or whatnot that's, like, 12, uh, the bride, like, kind of just, like, beats his butt and is, like, go home to your mama, <laughs> which is just really funny, which is just so, does show that, you know, she does definitely have some compassion, which she's just really set on getting the revenge on the ones that wronged her, and then, like, you know, the crazy A8, they're just, like, bad, so she's, like, eh, I mean, y'all are, you know, helping them or whatnot, but, um, you know, and then we get this really cool final battle between her and Oran like in the snowy uh, grassy field which it's really awesome. Like, I love that so much. That's such a great way to, you know, or whatnot. But, you know, the bride gets slashed pretty good. And then, uh, because, you know, uh, Oren's like making fun of her or whatnot. Because, uh, you know, she can't play with swords. Because, uh, you know, she's just a little girl. But then she gets up after getting slashed in the back by a samurai sword. And then Oren's like, okay, well, I respect you now. And then, uh, you know, they fight a little bit. And then Oren literally gets like the top of her skull cut off, which is just really awesome. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, and then, uh, she also takes the one, I think it's the, the, yeah, the uh, law lawyer and gets the information about, you know, Bill and the rest of them. And then, uh, she like, um, you know, makes her like uh, disabled or whatnot and like, uh, gives her back to Bill to, uh, you know, to give Bill the message that, you know, the bride's still alive. And then at the end of the film, we get the biggest cliffhanger ever, which, you know, uh, Bill's like, Hey, you know, may, uh, hopefully she won't find out that, you know, her baby's still alive, which, you know, was the one that, uh, she said at the beginning of the movie was, uh, you know, Bill's baby right before she got shot right in the head. But, you know, like I said, though, this movie is just such a good movie. And like I said, it's definitely a modern day classic, even though at this point it's, uh, uh let's see, it's about 20 years old at this point, which that's kind of really hard to believe because this came out in 2003. But like I said, the second one came out in 2004. And I think there's rumblings of a, you know, volume three happening. Um, which would be interesting, but it, I thought it was kind of funny because there was, like, uh, news coming out about volume through right as I watched the first one, which I thought was really funny, but, uh, you know, the overall stylistic choices of this movie and, uh, and, you know, watching this movie, some of this stuff was, like, cliche, but I, then I was, like, thinking, like, you know, probably this movie's the movie that started at first that, you know, before it was cliche or whatnot, which I just think's, you know, kind of, you know, weird, but, like, the stylistic choices and everything about this movie, the screenplay, the dialogue and everything is just so awesome, and, like, I really do love this movie. I'm gonna give, uh, 
Kill Bill Volume 1 a 9.3 out of 10 just because it's just such a good movie and it's definitely a modern day classic. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about Kill Bill Volume 1 down below. Make sure you guys check out Part 2 or, you know, my review of Volume 2 whenever that comes out. But like I said, this is my first time watching it, but I'll give it a 9.3 out of 10. But uh, check out my Twitter and Discord link in the description. Like and subscribe for more. Check out some other videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye.